Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at the amazing Yamaguchi uh, Midoriya Izuku from My Hero Academia. And at first I was very skeptical when Amazing Yamaguchi picked this up because I thought, you know, Figma is going to be the best. But based on what I've seen, um, they're doing pretty well. Um, aside from the joints getting loose issue, I don't see any bad reviews on this guy. And um, honestly, I didn't really like the Figma ones, especially Bakugo and um, Midoriya. Yeah. I'm not sure about the rest of them. Um, I have them like brand new in boxes. I, I might try to review them sooner or later. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box. Here's the right of the box. And here's the back of the box. They just announced they're going to make Bakugo. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, um, let's bust this thing open and see all we got. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging looking really good. Um, you definitely get the bang for your buck when it comes to amazing Yamaguchi figures. Um, we also get this really cool cardboard. Um, I don't really care about it, but it looks really good though. And yeah, um, let's check it out. All right, so here we have the figure itself. And my first impression on this figure is pretty good. Um, I like the way it looks, like the way it feels, and I don't seem to have any QC issues. Um, the paint job is pretty nice. Um, in terms of durability, uh, it is on the looser side, which is kind of disappointing for me. Um, I kind of like my figures to be a little bit tight, but you shouldn't have too much problem with it if you don't play around with it too much, but I can easily see this figure become loose if you're too crazy with it. But anyways, um, aside from that, this is probably one of the best looking figure I've seen from Amazing Yamaguchi in a very long time. I know they have been stepping up their game, but this is a whole new level. Let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, if you were to just show me this head sculpt, I probably would have thought this is Fake Mar SH Figure Arts. Well, well, probably not SH Figure Arts. Um, SH Figure Arts has been doing really bad with their anime line. Uh, maybe aside from Dragon Ball. They just announced a bunch of stuff for Dragon Ball, which I'm very excited for. But other anime stuff, like, I don't want to talk about Naruto anymore at this point. But yeah, it's really, really bad. Anyways, um, that's back to Deku. Um, all the attention and detail is really nice. Again, um, the paint job is really clean. I don't seem to have any issues. Um, yeah, let's jump straight into the articulation. I don't think there's anything I haven't seen already. And before we get into the articulation, I just want to talk about how good he looks with vanilla posing, which is usually not the norm for Revo Tech, and I really like that. And let's take a look from the neck down. He can look up, whoa, he can look up quite a lot. And look down, whoa, look down quite a lot. So yeah, as expected from Revo Tech, you get a max range of movements. And the arm, this is just, uh, I think you can just move it around like this, and this is the ball joint. Uh, of course, we're going to take a look at it during the action posing, but yeah, this is just a ball joint here for now. You can rotate it like this. And we do have um, bicep curl, um, bicep swivel with the joint over here. And for the ab crunch, this is just the ball joint here. Um, again, a lot of really good range of motion. Move backwards about this much. And for the leg, you can kick out about this high, bend about this much thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, feels really smooth, really good, as expected from um, Amazing Yamaguchi, which is what they're known for. And for the accessories, we do get quite a lot this time around, but let's just start with the default face here. Um, as you guys can see, it looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And next up, we get the teeth greeting angry face, and I think it looks really good as well. And lastly, we get a smiling face that's looking to the side, but it doesn't really matter because um, all the eyes are interchangeable and we actually have more of them over here. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you guys one by one, but I'll try to like put them into the action posing. And next up, we have the interchangeable hair piece for the one for all power. Um, these effect parts are pretty cool. Um, we also get a bunch of like these translucent plastic where you can just stick it onto Deku. Um, there's a lot of holes on him. And um, here is the red one. I believe there's only like two shapes um, over here. Um, you guys can't really tell, but I'm going to show you guys during the action posing. And for the interchangeable hands, stop, we get a pair of action posing hands. Nice. And then we get a pair of hands for these um, flicking the air attacks. And lastly, we just get a pair of hands for holding the notebook and a pen. And these are very nicely made. Um, you guys can see the attention to detail here. Very, very cool. And yeah, um, I believe that's everything. Um, pretty sure there's a stand and let's check out some action posing.
And for the size comparison, let us start with some Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts, and I think they look amazing together. Way better than the Figma ones in my opinion. Um, the Figma ones are just in their own scale, um, doesn't work well with other lines. And next up, we have some recent DC and Marvel SH Fig Arts, and I think they look very good together as well. And then we have some of my favorite Mayfax figures. And lastly, we have some Figma figures I have around, and I think they look okay together, but again, I do feel like the My Hero Academia Figma line is a little bit at their own portion. Um, doesn't really scale well with other lines, but do let me know in the comments on what you think. And I do have all of them, um, they're just brand new, I didn't have time to do reviews, but eventually I will get to them. And by then, we'll do more size comparison with the real tech Deku. Anyways, um, let's check out some final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is really good, and I do highly recommend it. Um, Amazing Yamaguchi has definitely outdone themselves this time around, and I'm really excited to see what else they're gonna make. I know Bakugo just got announced, and I do have All Might Um, I think I'm gonna review it sometime next week. But yeah, um, do let me know in the comments which characters you would like to see. And yeah, I just figured out they spell sculpted wrong over here. I don't know what sculpted it means, but anyways, um, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.